Why are you so negative, Nelly? Huh? Huh? Huh, news? Why are you so negative, Nelly? That's what I'm talking to you guys out there. Yes, that's right. Um, with there's there's a lot of there's ha- lots happening. There's been lots happening. There's a um, there's a flood happening in Houston right now, down there. Um, and there's like thousands, tens of thousands of people who've been displaced. And uh, there's acts of uh, faith and, and great humanity happening down there. And the news chooses to turn it negative. Oh well, it seems negative news tends to sell. Uh, happy news doesn't. It is one of those things. It's like sex sells, so they have to sexify mm-hmm. everything. And and newspapers and have to make I, money. I get it, but at the same time, it's 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 very um, it's draining. Yes, um, it's very um, it's sad to see. And um, you know, it, it's very depressing. It's very depressing, and uh, it's like seeing negative after day after day after day of negativeness. It, it does wear on you. It does drain you. And when you have to go through the news all the time, it, it's it's sucky. And uh, I it's think very it's sucky. It's part of the reason why we do our headlines the way we do is because we need to we, find we try something to yeah that's, we try to pick out a little so, bit positive, a little bit funny, quirky, yeah, and also want to. Just shoot my brain off, and maybe it's because of like, and maybe it's because the way that we are given our news, and it's so much of it. It's so, it is the twenty four hour news cycle. You mm-hmm. know, many years ago, as as early as what ten years ago, mm-hmm. we probably only saw the news at six o'clock, and we would be like, oh man, this is horrible to see like flooding, to see bad things happening. You'd be like, oh, but now you're so inundated with it. It's it's, it's everywhere. In your news feed, it's everywhere. In your Twitter, Twitter feed, Facebook, face, yeah, Instagram, exactly. everywhere. And people are they make they, they're. It's not just the news; it's society making big deals of something that shouldn't be. You know, I, I seen this. I seen this one. There was this guy walking with like his some belongings. He had some shoes and like oh, his wife's purse. And his wife and kid were being carried by somebody behind him. Okay, whatever. They're just trying to get the fuck out. You know what I mean? And the internet makes fun of the dude because he's carrying, not carrying his wife. And it's like, well, okay. Um, does it look bad? Um, maybe, but we don't know. Maybe the dude was is tired from treading water for two days. Maybe you don't know their situation. You don't know where they've been, what they've done. So maybe he needed, he didn't have the energy. He didn't have the... It left to carry his family out. We don't know. And it's like, who cares? The fucking dude just probably lost his house. Lost everything he owns. And you're making, you're grilling him on the internet for carrying shoes and belongings that he, that's all he has left? To me, that just, there's no, there's no, no need for that internet. There's no need for that people out there. Yeah, like, uh, for example, the, the Calgary Sun. Uh, I, I read it quite regularly. And they actually hit a, a point of negativity as well. It's like, and then um, they they had a whole bunch of people writing, phoning, and stuff like that, saying the news is too negative. And the Calgary Sun made a point of having one page in the paper every day called the Good News page. It's sad that it's only one page. No, and you're right. But at least they decided to make an effort to go, hey. There's something good, and and I think that's kind of uh, like I, I know like a, a newscast. They tend to do stuff like that. They try to do stuff like that, and it's just like um, social media. Maybe you need to take up that torch. Well, there is there is some that. good. Like there's there's I know that a whole bunch of celebrities have stepped up and donated tons of money. I know JJ wow. Watt from the Houston Texans. He said an initial goal to raise two hundred thousand. He's at like twelve point five million. Um, I know that a whole like there are a lot of good. And yeah, I just and, wish, and, and I think it needs to be more. I, I wish that was on a front page of a newspaper. I wish yeah. that was headline on CNN or CBC or the. I wish that that was the 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 breaking news of 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 the day. There are floods happening in Houston. But look at this. Look at what has happened. Look at the the rally that has happened. Look at everything. Yeah, that, you go, there are floods. And you know what? We'll talk about devastation. We're going to get to that. Let's, let's talk about what we're doing to yeah, help, help these, these people. people out. You know what I go mean? Go here. Donate here. Yeah. Go here. Volunteer yeah. here. Um, these people. You know, I, you know what? The first person, celebrity that I heard donated money was Sandra Bullock. 
Mm, yeah. And I was like, you do half a million bucks or one yeah. million we, dollars. DiCaprio did that too, million bucks. Miley yeah. Cyrus did five hundred thousand. And I was just like, wow. A whole bunch I'm, of. I know Kevin Hart did a like a like a week some sort of challenge or something like that. And a whole bunch of people have done tens of thousands. There's millions of dollars rolling in. Yeah. This and, relief and effort, th- which is this, great. This is exactly what you need to be uh, um, uh, focusing on. F- broadcasting. You yeah. know, th- go here. Do this. This is how you can help, right? It, but it, it is the instead of you know, bashing Trump for yeah, you know, what he's not doing. Why don't we talk about what he is? He donated a million dollars of his own money to relief. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. Right off the bat, people, I, I noticed this too. Is like Trump says says he and I use quotes he says he donated a million dollars, but where's the money? And I was like, um, are you asking that of other celebrities? Of course not. No, because it's Trump. Mm-hmm. Why don't you say, hey, even the president himself is donating money. Well, they they got on Trump for not being there right away. And it's like, to me... No. To me, I went like this. He is the leader. He is the leader of the country. It's not... To me, it's not up to him to, to go. He has bigger problems than... That it is, is a huge one of those problem. problems it is that huge, he has to take care of. But a leader delegates to people to take care of problems. Okay, he is overseas. If you want... To have a justification, this is the justification. When he shows up, he takes away resources that are being used to help yeah. because you need security. Yeah. Uh, this, that, everything. You know what? The best thing for him to do is go. In a way, I stay away. You. Yeah. Stay away until there's until, a, a point well, where y- you have the manpower to yeah. take care of him. Because you know when the fr- uh, the president of the United States shows up, there's the security, everything. There's so much logistics mm-hmm. behind it. You don't need that extra little burden on the people that are going through this crap. It's great that people are saying, "Oh, he should be there sooner." No, no. Politicians go to places like this for photographs and for for uh, like quibs and moments to make them look good. And yeah. he kind of, to me, he went, "I'm just going to stay away. I know what's happening." I, I'm aware of it. I will go there, but you know what? These people, like you said, they don't need the extra pressure of a president around. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like, like because the, yeah, there's tons of logistics when there's stuff like that. If 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 it was just you know a celebrity went down there and they don't need an whole entourage of people, then fine, you're helping out, good, I'll applaud you. But when it's a president. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, his entourage has He's an huge. entourage. Yeah, has an entourage. exactly. And, and you don't need that. You don't. Um, and don't get on the first lady for wearing heels, getting onto a helicopter. What are you doing? Who cares? Uh, yeah, I know that one. And and it's funny. It happened here in Canada too. When we had the flood here in Calgary, uh, the prime minister and his wife, his. Um, <clears throat> His riding is actually here in Calgary. His his riding was that was affected. Harbor, right? When yeah, they, Harbor. Yeah. Um, his riding was affected by the flood. Now they came out here because he's the prime minister of the country. Um, his wife actually put on sloppies and started was in there helping clean muck, mm-hmm. and people were saying, "Oh, why is she doing this?" Um, she's doing this for a photo op, and it's just like um, probably. A, combination of both she's helping uh, out and there's there's a photo op but in Canada the the prime minister's wife isn't as much of a celebrity yeah. as the first first lady, wife, first yeah. lady. and to, to be honest both Harper and the the Harper family are a Christian family and she I could see she was doing it but if you saw Harper putting on slops and stuff, he kind of would think that this was a photo op. He didn't. Um, I think what he ended up doing was he ended up uh, on the on his block. He's like, you know what? Here's some work boots. He bought work boots for the for the the area, and you know, just donated money. But his wife was there helping out with the families because I bet you she knows the families, right? And so it's one of those things of you're damned if. You, do damned if you don't. So there's there's always going to be like negativity on everything. Mm-hmm. There always is. It's just getting like with all these like rallies and and, and white supremacy and a NAFTA and and Antifa, whatever the hell they're called, assholes. Um, <laughs> the communists there. Yeah, whatever. Um, it's just when we sit down to like 
produce our show. <laughs> um, when we talk about like the topics for the week and stuff like that, um, for me, it's hard to come up with things because it's like it's all to me. It's all falling under the same damn umbrella. Sometimes you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, it's it all is. just so fucking dark and so bad, and and it's like I want to find something good. I want to talk about something good, and it it's almost impossible to find because mm-hmm. it's not there. Every time you turn on CNN, every time you see a CNN feed, it's... Here's a test for you. Right now, pick up your phone, look at your news feed. Yeah. How many of them are... How many of them would be considered negative? Like, you know, I have, what, four news feeds on mine, and right now I can just do it. We'll do a little experiment. What are we doing here? News feed. Just how many of them are bad and good? Well, I'll go on my Facebook. Because that's So, um... Uh, fake reabound in Harvey's wake. Uh, seven Kenyan schoolgirls die. Um, second opinion. I don't know actually what that would be, but and then and how somebody tried to stop a subway. I have a Utah nurse arrested after refusing to allow cop to take blood from unconscious patient. Yep. I have shocking video shows a Utah police detective arresting a nurse when she refused. Oh, that's the same one, just a different. Uh, just a different video of it. <laughs> I have WWE. I have... She couldn't wait any longer. She needed to see what happened to her home following Hurricane Harvey, but she wasn't ready for what she was walking into. Somebody goes back to their home. So there you go. Right there. Not the greatest news in the world you want to... That's what you wake up to every day when you uh, yeah. when you open your social media or um, Twitter. My Twitter would be a little bit different because I follow a lot of sports people, so they'd be talking about sports. That's it. We got change our show to a sports sports show. That's it. Sports talk radio coming up next on Cool Discussions. No, this guy couldn't talk about sports. <laughs> oh my God. Just like I couldn't talk about uh, anime. Uh, anime. Japanese anime. I couldn't talk about that. Um, so you know, yeah, it's been. Uh, it's been a rough, rough month of news. Uh, even just in general, like, it, it was, when I was on my vacation, it was nice really not to be paying attention to the news because of just how negative it was. Mm-hmm. And, like, it, the, the negativity is kind of like a, a, this is what I expect, so, but, you know, some days it just, uh, too much. Come but, on, uh, hockey season. <laughs> Come on, uh, that's what I'm waiting for. I just can't yeah, wait for no, no, to come no, back, no, no, and then, then then I'll be able to focus something on something. Like right now is like for me because I'm a sports fan. It's a dead time of the year, being because hockey takes up. A, there's three four games a week. Right now it's football once a week. Um, the Blue Jays are sucking. So um, yeah, like the, I, even the, the because summer is the the it's movie summer, right? It's supposed to be blockbusters. They're even whining about blockbusters this year, and it's just like ah, you know, yeah. you know, something you're supposed to go on and have fun with. People are going, oh, this is the worst in 16 years. None of the movies, blah blah blah. And it's just like. There's oh. been like I'm excited to to watch the new the Planet of the Apes one. I'm excited to oh, watch that no, one. Okay. I'm excited to watch that. Don't get me wrong, there are good movies, but even even in the uh, even though there are good movies, all they are talking about is, is the, the the lack yeah, of people going to the movies. This is the worst box. If office you want to see some good movie reviews, just a couple of regular guys who go watch some movies. Not not the big blockbuster. We will watch movies from all kinds of uh, we watch genres. We watch we watch the blockbusters. Watch of course, we do indie ones. Yeah. Uh, Check out our Wednesday shows. We review them every week. We review two movies. Couple, of, maybe some shows. We do all kinds of wacky stuff. Go check out our channel. So we're gonna try to be a little bit more positive sometimes. Of course, we're gonna hit on the big topics. We're gonna hit on that. Politics shit. is a hit and miss. Some days it's pretty good, and most of the days it's just bitching about politics. Yeah. But you know, we always try to make th- our Thursdays like today you know, a little bit different, but. We're going to do something a little new. We're, Help us out there, social media, yeah. by being a little we're, less... Uh... We're, we're going to have a little fun. We're not the biggest uh, NFL fans. Uh, I'm I don't, uh, I'm don't. i a little bit of a degenerate. I like to gamble a little bit on some sports. <laughs> oh, but I don't, is that what we are now, degenerates, I, because we're going to gamble that's right. a little I, bit? I don't gamble on... Uh, I don't bet on teams that I have an emotional ad- attachments to, so I never bet hockey, because I, I never bet CFL football. So uh, we're going to delve into the NFL betting. 
up here in Canada, unfortunately, you can't bet on one game. You have to do three games minimum. So we're going to do that. And we're going to keep you posted on that. So what's the date today? I guess the NFL starts tonight, right? Because uh, yeah, it's Thursday. Thursday yep. So the first game will kick off tonight. Um, if the odds, because we film on Saturdays, of course, you guys, it's no secret. If the odds <laughs> are right, we will have this on our sports list game, the Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs. But we're going to have... Uh, th- Three games for sure on the weekend, and we'll, we'll keep you abreast. We'll maybe we'll update you in headlines or something like that. We'll uh, tell you how we yeah, did. Yeah, there we go. Um, and uh, but we're gonna try and be throw some positive vibes out there. Positive vibes. Did you get those? That's weird. Positive vibes, eh? We'll keep Tuesday to the serious. Yeah. And we'll try to make Thursday a little lighter, a little more happy. If there's something big, obviously we'll uh, talk about that. We'll talk about that, but uh, we'll try to. We'll try to be the change we want to be. <laughs> Lead by example. Yeah, is that better? And that's Lead yeah. That sounds example. a little better. If we're yeah. saying do this. Well, you yeah. know what? If we don't do it ourselves, we're just as much of a hip, bunch of hypocrites. We'll try to have call some everybody fun. else down to me too. Maybe, maybe we'll do some food reviews or something. Maybe we'll do something like that. Who knows? But keep keep coming here and checking it out. Don't forget to uh, I don't know like. Like, comment, comment subscribe. subscribe. If there's anything you you have an idea, follow us on iTunes. Yeah, you can follow us. On, well, we're you everywhere. Can t- you can talk to us on Twitter, Facebook. Not everywhere. Uh, we, we'll if uh, if you tweet at us at Cool Discussion, we'll get back to you instantly. Within or close to within 15 minutes, yeah, we'll yeah, probably yeah. get back to you. Um, if you comment on our YouTube yeah, videos, yeah, and you, and we'll you can right watch us on YouTube. Yes, and we have uh, comments uh, comment s- section on below, so you can. And no, we won't follow you on Instagram. Please stop. Jeez. Or if you're going to ask us to follow you on Instagram, Don't have, have an s- actual yeah. Instagram <laughs> yeah. page to follow. If we, if we check you out and it's stock, stock photos, photos. <laughs> no follow. No follow. Too bad for you. Yeah. All right, guys. See ya.